So I didn't watch the RNC day one stuff, but I did see some. I did see Trump walk out with the bandage on his ear. I, I, I did see that. Now I do want to talk about uh, Amber Rose. Okay, so I want to bring up the whole Amber Rose thing because I think it's important, and uh, I'm going to react to it. Five minutes, uh, five minutes and ten seconds to be exact. I want to talk about the Amber Rose situation. All right, so here we go. Um, Rose, I'm a model and entrepreneur. Thank you. But most importantly, I'm a mother. My whole world revolves around providing for my children, keeping them safe, and giving them an opportunity for a better life. That's something that unites all American parents, whether we're Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, or liberals. We all want a better country for our children. I don't see anything wrong yet. But I'm here tonight to tell you, no matter your political background, that the best chance we have to give our babies a better life is to elect Donald Trump President of the United States. <laughs> and, and here's the thing, though. Uh, there was a dumb piece of shit, Mark Hamill, was sharing a photo all over X, right? Of Donald Trump closing his eyes. And he's like, oh, he's asleep. Oh, he's so old. Oh, I have a small pee-pee. The thing is, if you watch the entire full context of it, it's him praying, right? Being close his eyes and praying, shit like that. God, I... What happened to Mark Hamill? Why is he such a piece of shit now, man? God, he's insufferable. What? What a, what, what a Joe Biden cock rider, man. Holy shit. Now, you may be wondering why I'm up here telling you this. I'm no politician, and I don't want to be. But I do care about the truth. And the truth is that the media has lied to us about Donald Trump. I know this because for a long time I believed those lies. So I'm here to set the record straight. The first person I knew who supported Donald Trump was my father. I was shocked. My entire family is racially diverse. And I believe the left-wing propaganda that Donald Trump was a racist. My father said, no, he's not, Amber. What are you talking about? And when I insisted, he said, prove it. So to prove my father wrong, I did my research and looked into all things Donald Trump. So here's the thing. If you start doing your research, they'll be like, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. Don't do your own research. Let the media tell you what you should believe in. Right? The whole thing with the, you know, the good people on both sides, you know, the, the you know, the, making fun of, uh, you know, that the person in the wheelchair or whatever. It's all fake news, man. Like, if you actually, it's like the whole Covington kid incident all over again. Right? They purposely p play one segment for you to see the entire thing and then they're like look what he did this guy is a bastard he's a terrible person don't vote for him it's like oh my god man and then amber rose did her own research and there it is research i watched all the rallies and I started meeting so many of you, his red hat wearing supporters. <laughs> I realized Donald Trump and his supporters don't care if you're black, white, gay, or straight. It's all love. And that is right over there, in my opinion, uh, why I'll be voting for Donald Trump as well. And the original thing is, is because if you compare Donald Trump to Barack Obama, Right. If if you compare Donald Trump to Barack Obama, Donald Trump was cool with gay marriage. Donald Trump said because Donald Trump ran the whole Miss Universe, Miss America kind of thing. Right. People asked him if you're OK with a transgender person winning. And he said he's OK with it. Right. Donald Trump was way more progressive than Obama ever was. Right. What changed? What changed?
he needed votes. And then all of a sudden, they say Donald Trump wanted to get rid of trans people. They want to get rid of gay people, lesbian people. Barack Obama, Joe Biden, and Hillary Clinton, all three of them, did not support gay marriage when Donald Trump did. And that's the reason why, another reason, many reasons why they don't like him. They have to paint this lie. They have to paint this lie against him. Yeah, but Obama was against gay marriage until he became president. Then he changed his mind. Yeah, yeah. what changed is because he has to become president. He needs the votes of the gay people. And that's when it hit me. These are my people. This is where I belong. <laughs> fear of judgment, of being misunderstood, of getting attacked by the left, and I put the red hat on too. Thank you. Love you too. I never felt more free and more love for my country than I do now. I want to thank my father, who's in the audience tonight, for opening my eyes. He served over 20 years in the U.S. military. Thank you for your service, Dad. When I met the president and Melania for the first time, he was kind and generous and funny as hell. <laughs> Very funny. The first lady was gracious and smart with a smile that will brighten up any room. If you're watching this tonight, you know our country is in trouble, just yep. like me. When you go to the store and buy food for your family, you're shocked. When you fill up your gas tank, you're pissed. I know I am. <laughs> yeah man my truck is like my truck has like 22 gallons and to fill up my in my area it's about like for our mid tier it's about like five bucks it's like a man it's like a hundred dollar dude god damn it's expensive god damn and when you turn on the news, you are just exhausted. Inflation is out of control. And you know in your heart, it was not like this under Donald Trump. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Did you guys see that video of the guy that bought like stuff from Walmart on Instacart or something like that? And then he was like, oh, let's see, like, like three years ago. Oh, let's see how much things cost now. And he, he hit reorder. And it was like $450. Like, God, holy shit, man. Oh, damn, dude. Yo, it's Jover. Man, bite inflation, man. Oh, man. I, and I'm a cheap as hell Asian, too, man. Like, I, 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 I'm a cheap boy. Oh, am I trying to feed a family of five? Yeah, dude. It's like, geez. That's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When's a gallon of milk like fucking six dollars, man? When did that shit happen? I remember when he used to buy. Okay, my dumbass is lactose intolerant, unfortunately, but not like severely. But I buy, I buy lactate, right? I buy a gallon of lactate back in the day. That shit was like four fifty. Now it's like seven dollars. Economy sucks, man. Thanks, Biden. <laughs> My message to you tonight comes from a humble place. The left told me to hate Trump, and even worse, to hate the other side, the people who support him. When you cut through the lies, you realize the truth. Cut. American families were better when Donald Trump was president. We were safer, wealthier, and stronger. A vote for Donald Trump is a vote to put money back in our pockets and good food on our kids' plates. Yes. <laughs> or, as Trump would say, it's a vote to make America great again. Thank you so much. Okay. So I have nothing against what she said. I think everything she said was great. 
I think everything she said was fine. Not, there, there was no red flags, okay? I don't know her backstory. I heard that she used to, she, she, she's doing OnlyFans or she's a, she a porn star or whatever. Or, I don't know, she, people are calling her a Satanist. I don't know if that's true, okay? I don't know if that's true. But the thing is, right now, especially right now, in this, in our current climate of, you know, political sphere, it's not a good time for you to gatekeep supporters. Okay? Like, you, you, you have... You have people who are like, and here's the thing, I'm not, I'm not a Republican, but I'm a conservative, but I'm a libertarian conservative, and I'm voting Trump because of one issue and one issue only. I'm a single issue voter. Which which political presidential candidate is most two A friendly? Donald Trump. That's the one I'm voting for. That's it. That's the reason why I didn't vote for. Uh, was Biden the first time is because he's anti-gun. The reason why I, I was like, oh, Bernie Sanders? Uh, and of course, Hillary's anti-gun, okay? You know, and that's the reason. I'm a single-issue voter. The thing is, a lot of people are the same thing, right? Am Amber, uh, Amber Rose is probably not a Republican, but she's probably leaning more conservative now. And why the hell... Would you bat them away if they're like, I want to vote for Donald Trump? It's like, oh, we don't welcome your kind here. What? Do you know who you sound like? The left. Right? The left sounds like that. Gatekeeping. Do you have to be extremely pure? Do you have to be like Jesus in order to vote Republican? Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck make you the freaking like arbiter of like fucking truth oh man if you're not the, the you don't decide you don't are you christian you're not christian you can't vote trump fuck right off it's, it's so stupid all right all right several several years ago there was a there was an adult there was an adult actress named uh, brandy love i believe she went to turning point usa and a lot of dads there knew who she was. If I saw her, I'm like, oh, you look familiar. A lot of women were like, who is she? Why do you keep staring at her? Why are her boobs so big? Stop looking at her. Stop it. Stop it. Right? And what, what happened was that they kicked her out. They kicked her out. Did she go mad or anything like that? But I think that's a stupid reason to kick her out. Is because, oh, you are, you are a porn star. You are an adult actress. So you aren't allowed here. What the fuck? That's the, she, yes. There's, there's a lot of people who don't like that kind of stuff. But you still have people. She's still America first. She still wants Trump to be in office. Why are you so adamant on kicking her out? Another girl. Bonnie Rotten. I forgot her real name. I think her name is like, like Alania or something like that now. Uh, she stopped doing adult stuff and she went hardcore into like shooting and uh, what's it called again? Like competition shooting and like uh, USPSAs and stuff like that. And she started doing like really, really cool stuff. Like I started following her a lot because she, uh, she was on a gun magazine, right? And I'm like, cool. You know, a person that used to be an adult actress now is doing into two A stuff. She loves... She, she, she's voting Donald Trump. Why you want to... Oh, hey, remember what you used to do? You, what you did back then? Nope, you cannot. I don't care what you did. I, 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 I don't like you. So why, why are you trying to get rid of people who are trying to support you? That's a good way for you to lose. Right? And that's what I, that's what I put on Twitter. I said that if you, if you are gatekeeping good people from joining your party it is a good way for you to lose right as of right now more than ever right now more than ever we need as much support for people uh what's it called again uh we need as much people to, to support donald trump and winning right as of right now like it it's really important for for, for that to happen right now the thing is matt walsh don't give a fuck it's what he said yesterday. 
Some thoughts on this Amber Rose thing. Since it's apparently extremely controversial to say that the Republicans shouldn't give a primetime convention speaking slot to one of the founders of the slut walk. First of all, maybe Rose has totally changed and has some kind of conversion experience. There's no evidence of that. Only that she likes Donald Trump now. There are many, many, many examples of conservatives rallying around their new celebrity hero just because the person likes Trump, only to be humiliated and betrayed by the same person shortly after. This has happened countless times. I've called it ahead of time in nearly every case and been screamed at by conservatives the way you are all screaming at me now. Hopefully, this is the first time I'll be wrong about something like this, but I highly doubt it. Okay? Another one. Second, if uh, even if there has been some kind of conversion, that doesn't mean you take someone who has been a conservative for 42 seconds and turn them into a mouthpiece for your movement. Again, how many times do we need to learn this lesson? A person who has been wrong about everything up until approximately yesterday morning needs to be learning and listening, not giving prime time speeches at political convention. Third, just to give you an idea how new Rose's conversion is, if there has been one at all, it was just this past March that she praised the satanic temple for helping a lot of people by making sure they can get abortions. That was March of this year. She has not been, uh, not even pretended to disavow that point of view or any of her far left views apart from her dislike of Trump. If it is outrageous and offensive to suggest that a person such as this is perhaps not fitting to be prime example of a, a prime time a Republican speaker when con uh, then conservatism as a movement is in even worse shape than I thought. Now, here's the thing. This is, on many cases, a big L for M Matt Walsh. I understand where he's coming from. Don't get me wrong. I, I understand where he's coming from. But the thing is, Matt Walsh is not a Trump guy. Okay? Matt Walsh is not a Trump guy, right? We do, yeah, I do remember Kanye. Kanye said all these crazy things, and then he, he said all these crazy shit, and I get it. And I believe Amber Heard dated Kanye for, uh, you know, amount of time. But yeah, it's, uh, yo, Coconut, thank you so much for the gifted membership, man. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, man. But the thing is, as of right now, when Donald Trump and the Republican needs as much help as they can, given the fact that Amber Heard has 24 million followers on Instagram, she has a lot of influence. Now, here's the thing. Donald Trump is not anti-abortion either, Matt Walsh. If you don't know that, yes, it was Trump's doing that he brought the um, Roe v. Wade, he abolished Roe v. Wade and brought that shit back to the States. Right? But the thing is, Trump is not anti-abortion, right? He basically wants people to be able to get abortions as long as it's like early, safe, and rare. That's it. Did I say Amber Heard? Yeah, Amber Rose. They're both the same people, right? No. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Amber Rose. Sorry. But the thing is, Amber Rose, like I said, has a lot of influence. If she's, if, if she's trying to help you, help your cause... Why wouldn't you want them? Why, why wouldn't you want her to help you? It's such a stupid, stupid, stupid thing to move them aside. I'm thinking about that doo-doo on the bed. Oh, man, I don't want to talk about that. So here's the thing. Right over here, this is some DC Drano. Say what you will about Amber Rose. But she has over 24.3 million followers on Instagram and 3.6 million on X. I'm going to assume the overwhelming majority of those followers are not Republicans. Like I said, I'm voting for Donald Trump and I'm not a Republican. I never said I was. Okay. Uh, let's see. If she, if she motivates just a measly 4% of her fans to vote for Trump, that's more than 1.1 million new votes. Biden stole it in 2020 by less than 50,000 votes in three states. 
There it is. Now, here's the thing, though. Why are people gatekeeping this so hard? Right? Why is that? Do you have to be pure? If the RNC actually said we want Amber Rose to speak and given the fact that everyone knows her past, wouldn't you think that the RNC is okay with it? The thing is that Matt Walsh does have a lot of he does have a lot of uh, what's it called again? Um, a lot of pull, right? He has he has a lot of say. He, he he's he's very influential. But the thing is, Matt Walsh has been taking L's after L's for a long time now. The whole thing with video games, the whole thing with anime. Now with this thing, how about this, Master Wal Matt Walsh? Just say, look, I get the whole Amber. Like I said, some thoughts on the Amber Rose thing. I get it. Let's hope you know I. Given the fact that we have our differences, we have different backgrounds and stuff like that, and hopefully you're not into that satanic shit anymore. Let's help Trump get to the finish line, and then maybe we can talk. Uh, because, uh, but as of right now, right now is not the time to talk about it, right? You're trying to disavow Amber Rose, who has a lot of followers, right? And the thing is that you're Matt Walsh, and sometimes when he's talking, like I, I get where he's coming from, but it's. Dude, just stop it, man. Just stop. Jeez, man. Like, like, don't forget what Matt Walsh said about Trump. Matt Walsh hates Trump. He does not like Trump. A lot of the people from the Daily Wire do not like Trump, okay? They were a DeSantis guy. Right over here, this is back in 2015. I get that Trump supporters like him because he's he's a pathetic, whiny, thin-skinned narcissist. Actually, no, I still don't get it. Next one. If Trump supporters want to come back to reality after making fools of themselves for the past two months, I will embrace and forgive them. Another one. The real quandary is this. What do Trump supporters lack more? Intelligence, self-respect, or principles? Matt Walsh? Does not give a fuck. Does not give a fuck about Trump. I have now been called politically correct and part of the establishment by Trump supporters. Dear Lord, these people are delusional. Donald Trump is just a repulsive cretin doing what repulsive cretins do. His supporters are the real culprits in this sad, pathetic tale. He's talking about us. People who people who vote for people who want Trump to win. This is this is the guy. Look, Matt Walsh is a very smart man. What is a woman? One of the best documentaries I've seen in quite some time. So far, my policy proposal for to deport Trump supporters is really resonating with voters. Maybe I should run for office on this platform. Another one. Uh, I have a theory that all of Trump supporters drink Mountain Dew and think professional wrestling is real. Yo, Mountain Dew is pretty good. Especially, have you tried Mountain Dew Baja Blast? That shit slaps. It's not whether Trump will lose his supporters. It's whether he can gain any at this point. Answer to that is no. He is, so he's finished. Do you think if Trump supporters had jobs and kids, maybe they wouldn't be so eager to destroy the country? Maybe I should say it like Trump. I won't call Trump supporters fools because that would be bad. But many people have called them fools. Another one from Blaze Media. To Trump disciples, you're embarrassing conservatism and yourselves. You're, you're, I'm assuming your embarrassment. Conservatives don't need another blubbering narcissistic nitwit making a mockery of their positions. Conservatism doesn't need Donald Trump. This is Matt Walsh. Okay. Ding is that Matt Walsh is 38. I thought that motherfucker was like 42 or some shit, man. This guy, this motherfucker is 38. This guy has really good takes on some stuff and a lot of bad takes on a lot of stuff. And this is where you drive a lot of new potential voters away. Right? You drive a lot of new potential voters away. People who like anime, 
Oh, anime is demonic. You like video games. Video games is Satan. I like Donald Trump. Oh, then you a bitch. People like Matt Walsh have a lot of say. But the thing is, they do not represent conservatism. They do not re re represent majority of the Republicans. There are some people who are crazy, but Matt Walsh is the one who's basically saying, if you like anime, don't we don't want you here. If you like video games, we do not want you here. Gatekeeping. You sound like a Democrat. 